Hello everyone, Indra here and today I'll show you how to create an abstract liquid marble effect in Photoshop. We'll be creating our liquid marble effect from a stock photo like this one. I have downloaded this one from unsplash.com. So let's load up our image in Photoshop and resize it. Go to image image size and I'll be changing it to around 3000 by 3000 pixels so let's unlock this keep proportion link icon and let's hit OK so don't worry about the distortion of this image because we'll be distorting it anyway with our liquid marble effect so now we'll convert it into a smart object so that all the filters that we apply on top of it will be applied in a non-destructive way. And since it will be a smart object, we can always go inside the smart object, change this source image to a new one, and we'll be having a whole new liquid marble effect in just a matter of seconds. Okay, so before converting it into a smart object, if it's a background layer like the one that you are seeing right now, you need to change it into a normal layer. To do that, go to layer, new, and layer from background. So just hit OK and it's a new layer. Right click on it and select convert to smart object. So once that's done, let's pour our magic potion on top of it. And of course, that's the liquify filter. Go to filter, liquify, and you will be presented with the liquify edit to window. Over here, make sure you are selecting this forward warp tool. Select a large brush like this one around 1000 pixels. Keep pressure to around 50 and density to 50. You can obviously experiment with the settings and tweak the settings to experiment and change the variables. Now let's start moving the pixels like this. You can spend as much time as you want. You can get as creative as you want over here to get that perfect liquid marble effect that you are looking for. Make sure you have pin edges checked over here because otherwise you'll be getting some transparent pixels like this. If your Photoshop does not have this pin edges option, you can always move these pixels around to the margin to get rid of these transparent edges. But since the newer version of Photoshop, you'll be having these pin edges, so take advantage of it and turn it on. So I'll do it real quickly over here, but take your time and create the masterpiece out of it. Well, I've sped up the video and after spending some time on it, I have ended up with something like this. Obviously, you can take advantage of this bloat tool to create some droplets like feature over here. And also you can use this smooth tool to create some variations in your artwork. If you are happy with the results that you have got, you can select OK to confirm the changes and you will have your liquid marble effect over here in your main document. Now let's explore the power of the smart object. You can simply double click over here and you will be presented with your source image. Replace it with a new image, fit it to the canvas, commit the changes and go to file, save your document and close it and voila you have a whole new liquid marble effect created just in few seconds you can try this technique you can change the source image and get a different marble pattern out of every new image that you put into the smart object now i'll also show you another cool trick over here select the rectangular marquee tool right click over here and select free transform once the free transform tool pops up right click and whatever the image clockwise or counterclockwise 90 degrees. Comment the changes and you will see that this will also create a different variation of the liquid marble effect that you have got earlier. Isn't that cool, right? Let's finish off our composition with adding a nice text on top of it. Create a new layer, select the type tool and click on the canvas and write liquid marble. Let's take them to new line and maybe we can change the font to something else. Let's increase the size a bit and increase the layer spacing. 
I'll reduce the distance between the marble so that it almost fits with the liquid text. That looks good. Now let's add a drop shadow and let's add a frame. Select the shape tool, select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle around your text. Change the stroke color to white and increase the width of the stroke to around 30 pixels. So that's it. This is how you can create cool abstract liquid marble patterns in Photoshop from scratch. You can use this technique in different areas like vinyl covers, t-shirts, coffee mug prints and so on. I hope you like this video. If you'd like to see more short cool tips and tricks like this one or even longer in depth tutorial, please let me know in the comment section below and please like the video and share and subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.